Hello, welcome to our lesson on subtracting decimals. We're going to be subtracting today. Here are some other words you might see that mean the same exact thing. All right, let's get started. Quick review on rules for joining together numbers. Again, these are rules for when you're adding and subtracting only. They do not apply for multiplication and division. So if the signs are the same, you find the sum. Or in other words, if the signs, this one's positive and a positive, your result's going to be positive. You just add the numbers up. You have a negative and a negative, negative minus another negative, the result will be negative. You just add up the numbers. 1 plus 3 is 4, result is negative. Okay, so if the signs are the same, you find the sum or you add them up. If the signs are different, you find the difference. 1 plus negative 3, see how the signs are different? This is a positive number and a negative number, so we join those together by subtracting. 3 minus 1 is 2, so the difference between them is 2, and you take the sign from the larger absolute value. So 3 is larger than 1, so I take the sign from the 3, which means negative. This is the same question written in a slightly different way. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Again, the sign of negative, this one has an implied sign of positive. Signs are different. You find the difference between the two numbers. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then the sign comes from the larger number. So in this case, 3 is larger than 1, negative. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rules for subtracting decimals. You line up the decimals, fill in the zeros where needed, subtract like normal. Remember the rules. That's it. So here's an example, 12.39 minus 5.67. So if I have 12.39, and I subtract 5.76, then I will just line up my decimals like this and subtract like normal. I'm subtracting just like this is 1,239 and this is 576. You just subtract exactly the same way. You can even erase the decimals if you want to, to to make it easier so it's not complicated for you. You line up the decimals, fill in any zeros, and just subtract like normal. All right. Now we're going to look at some more complicated questions where we have to decide what to do. This one here, I have 42.4, sorry, negative 42.4, minus 3.65. If the signs are the same, I'm going to find the sum. In other words, I, I'm not going to subtract these two numbers. I'm actually going to add them together because the signs are exactly the same. I'm going to line up my decimals fill in a 0 where needed, and now I'm just going to add these up. 0 plus 5 is 5. 4 and 6 is 10, we carry the 1, and that'll give me 46.05. So, my question now, I've added these numbers, 42.40 and 3.65, I've added them up, I get an answer of 46.05. Am I forgetting anything? Hmm. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. I think maybe if I just look at this long enough, maybe I'll close my eyes and just concentrate. Oh, yeah. We're not dealing with positive numbers here. We're just adding them up because their signs are the same. But I have to remember, in the end, I'm adding negative 42.4 to negative 3.65. Or in other words, I'm starting on the, the number line way on the left side, and I'm going even farther to the left. All right? So that's how we would do it. The final result is definitely negative when you take a negative number and you subtract even more. If I'm, you know, in debt or something with my money, I've, you know, I have a credit card bill of $42, I spend that much more, that doesn't make me have $46, it means I have even less, negative 46. All right, let's look at the difference here now. We have 17.1 minus 43. This is a positive number minus another number. So in other words, the signs are different, so I'm going to find the difference. Now I can't write down 17 minus 43, because that's not going to work. What I have to do to find the difference is take the larger number and subtract the smaller number. That'll give me the difference between them. So 43, I'm going to fill in my zeros, 43.0 minus 17.1 gives me 25.9, and am I done? Okay, the signs were different, so I found the difference. I took the larger number minus the smaller number, got the difference. That's the difference between those two numbers. But I'm not quite finished yet. Think about it for a minute. If I had 
17, about 17, and I take away 43, am I going to have 25, almost 26? Again, think of it in terms of money. If I had $17 and I lost $43, would that mean I have 25 left? I have more than what I started with? That doesn't make any sense, right? When you're subtracting a larger number, the final answer takes the sign of the larger number. All right, so the final result is negative. We actually have negative 25.9, almost negative 26. All right, now we're going to do it with um, some variables. Solve t minus s when t is 4.7 and s is 3.3. First thing I'm going to do is substitute 4.7 in for t, 3.3 in for s. That gives me my 4.7 minus 3.3. The signs are the same. No, the signs are different. I have a positive number and I have a negative number. Positive 4.7 minus 3.3. So the signs are different. I'm going to find the difference, so I'll line them up. 4.7 minus 3.3. I'm going to subtract like normal. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. All right. Now, in the past several different questions, I've gotten to this point and I've wondered, am I done? At this point, I'm just going to ask the same thing. Is that the right final answer? And I take 4.7 minus 3.3. In this case, yes, it absolutely is. Yeah, the larger number is 4.7. We're taking away 3.3, so we're going to have some left over, 1.4 left over at the end. All right, one more question. We're going to make this one a little bit tricky. We've got our double negative, negative 5.23 minus negative. Ugh. Minus a negative. Ugh. What do we do when we have minus a negative? Well, if you remember from the subtracting negatives lesson, when you have a double negative like that, minus a negative, you change it into being positive. So we can rewrite this as six, negative 5.23 plus 6.19. And that's the way I'm going to write it. Now I look at this question, I have a positive and a negative. Positive 6.19, negative 5.23, the signs are different. I find the difference. Put the larger number on top, smaller number on the bottom, and I subtract. 9 minus 3 is 6. One. And then I'm going to carry over, you know, borrow from that 6 to make it a 5. 11 minus 2 is 9. 5 minus 5 is 0. So what I end up with here is 0 0.96. I want you to think about this for a minute and think, of all the questions that we've done and the things that we've gone over, is this result going to be positive or negative? The result will be positive because the larger number, 6.19, is positive. All right? So the larger number, 6.19, is positive. That means our result is going to be positive. So that is how we subtract decimals.